Hi, are you wondering how they do double exposure like this? Now, welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABM Graphics. Today, we are here to learn how to do the double exposure or let's say dual exposure in Photoshop. On this particular trick, it's very somehow simple and it doesn't need more stress. It's just getting your image and then you get the other image. So, on this particular distance, you can use two images to do that. Either the, the subject and then the alternative subject that you want to use to do that particular double exposure uh, this thing so in this case i just got these two images over here that i'm going to use there is the picture the image that i'm going to use for that particular tutorial or this particular tutorial in this case you get that there is the image of a lady and there is the kind of image uh, of this particular this thing i don't get it I, but i downloaded it from uh and Ansplash.com, where you can also go there and get your distance. So, what we need to do over here is that I'm just going to pick up this particular image, then I'll send it to Photoshop just like that. You get that? Yes. So, that is how I want the picture to be. And the picture is already a PNG image, so there's no need for me to remove the background. But in case you had a picture and the, that particular image is jpeg or any kind of or it has a background before you will be able to do this particular dual exposure or double exposure technique you need to remove the background then you can now start working with that so in this case i have my distance my images like this what i need to do over here is that i'm just going to click ctrl j so that will duplicate my image or my subject over there so that in case i have any problem i can still use this particular this one you get that yes so this one that's the subject of uh that particular destiny and then i'm just going to rename it just like that and i'll have it just that that way and the next thing again i have to do over here is that i'm just going over and i'll pick up this particular image there then i'll just come and put it somewhere here just like that yes just like that okay then i can reposition it how i want it to be just reposition and then uh doing my transformation if this way is okay for you then i'll click okay or enter it so that i can have it just like that you get that the next thing again i have to do over here is that on this particular this time i'm just going to right click on it then i'll rasterize it then when i rasterize it what i need to do over here is that i'm going to right click and then create a clipping mask when i create a clipping mask you can see that the double exposure let's say 50 percent has just done just like that because you can see how it it just it looks over here you get that so the next thing again i have to do from the blinding mode i'm going to change it to what to light uh, sorry to scream then i can have it just like that and then i can have it just like that as we can see it looks so beautiful but you just need to add some certain techniques to it to make it so this thing so the next thing again i'm going to do on this particular distance when it's selected i'm going to add a layer mask to it then when i add a, that particular layer mask to it i'm going to come to pick i'm going to pick a brush tool over here then when i pick the brush tool over there because the layer mask is white then here is supposed to be what black you get that yes that's the technique so i'm just going to do what i'm just going to try and cancel somewhere here a little bit not that much okay yes just just small all right then i can have it just like that and then um i can decide to make over there so that the the, the 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 hair can also contain that particular distance so i'm just going to hold shift and then i'll just drag it somehow just like that and then i can have it just like that then i can drag over there too not that too much uh, but i can have it just like this and i can have it just like that nice way then i can have it just um just like that and then the next thing again i have to do i have to select my distance over there and then what i need to do over here is that i just want to make it uh somehow realistic so that it won't just look somehow fake you can see it looks like a line so i'm just going to cancel those lines there so that it will enter the body you see that it will blend with the body that will make it so somehow beautiful then you can, I can have it just like that okay yes so that is how the double exposure is being designed or is being do in photoshop and and then after you have something like this maybe you can decide to add up some colors or anything for it or you can decide that okay let me 
come and click on adjustment layer over there then come and use black then when you use black as you can see you see that it has changed the whole thing you see that it has changed the whole thing to certain different thing you get that so you can decide to use something like this or you can decide to say okay what i need to do over here is that i you can double click and then the process you can use let me say green then when you use green then you increase the green if you know that there is more green on that you can either increase the green so that it will pop up for you and then it will look so beautiful or you can use the thing where you can use any number any color sorry any color to, to just make your this thing look somehow beautiful and it should match up with the body too and then it will look so beautiful so this is just the technique when you are doing this kind of this thing in photoshop you get that yes you can also decide that okay you just want it to apply only on that particular image only but not the subject over here so in doing that you have to right click and do what and create a clipping mask so when you create a clipping mask uh, it will affect only the image over there and then you can move it down here and then you can as you can see it's affecting only the image over there the subject only that it is affecting you get that and then you can also do the changes over there you can leave it that way and then you can let it be somewhere like this match up it looks so beautiful you get that and the next thing again you can also do is that when you are doing that kind of double exposure you can decide that let me create a new uh, layer layer when you create a new layer then you can come and pick your brush tool over here then you come and pick any uh, color on that particular this thing then uh, the next thing you just have to increase your brush a little bit and then you increase it a little bit that this one is okay then you can match up here and you click again then you can come over here maybe you can create different ones so that you can have uh, the distance then you can do another one here that looks okay then you can decide the two different things you can either make it lighten you can you can sorry this lighting i don't know you can make it either screen or you can give it a color which is just you can choose the blinding mode you can use color and that looks beautiful you can also use this you can also you know you just have to change that all around you just see the beautiful thing that will match up with your your this thing and it will look so so beautiful for you you get that yes so you, you can just check around which one is best then you will use that you get that and then you can also decide that or uh, on this particular this thing you can decide to put it inside there or any place that you wish to put that particular filter there so that it will look so beautiful for you and then i'm just going to delete it because i don't need those kind of things to you know so there is how dollar exposure is being designed with uh, abn graphics and then when you have that you can do what you can save your work you can save your work anytime you want it and then the next thing i'm going to show you is that you can also do what you can also give it a background so you can give out a color then when you give out a color try and get a color that match up with the the this thing you get that so you just you can just decide to check around then you find a suitable color that match up with your design and that wants you look somehow beautiful and so nice you get that yes so let me use something like this over there it's okay for me then you can have it that just that way or you can also decide that okay let me add up the same background there just like that so that you can get some kind of um this thing there like that you get that and then you just have to adjust it adjusting it okay so beautiful then you can click okay so nice then you have when you have something like that that is how you are going to get it and it looks so beautiful for you you get that yes so you can do the adjustment on any on any how you want it to be how beautiful you know yes no matter how so this is how double exposure is being designed with abn graphics thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics have a nice day bye bye